Hello my friend, it's me Evan and in the fourth video of learning the new DAPANEL version 2, a wonderful extension that I have created for use in Adobe Photoshop that will help you actually to build fantastic photo albums, I'm about to show you uh, the album page designs. We have seen already in the third video uh, how it works, how the album page designs works. Now I will show you how easy it is to create, let's say, two or three double pages with maybe uh, in three or four minutes maximum, okay? So let's just uh, say that we have our photos ready. So I have my uh, bridge, okay, already uh, introducing my photos over here. I can see my photos, of course, the photos they are from the Photo GFX uh, photo company uh, and business. So I will just use some of those photos. Let's say that, that they are all from the same wedding. Actually, they have uh, several weddings over here, but let's say that it is only for one wedding. So let's start. We have already the front and the back page, and of course, we have the intermediate pages so we go and we start building our designs i would like to make um, a minimal design for start so i will go just create double page and i will go and create maybe mm, four pages on the left okay so i will go here and create four pages on the left great and one big photo on the right Okay, this is the philosophy, okay? It's so easy. And once we have created our design, then we have to uh, define if we want now the background. Of course, many of you would like to create and use white or black or plain background. Some other would like to put um, another photo as a background. You're free to do whatever you like. Uh, but I will use the style that uh, I showed you in a previous video. So we'll go right click, background, and I will go then and I will use this background, which I love. And then I will go into the left page. Of course, I can just right click and select the left page. Or I can just select all those uh, four and apply one style to each of the photo. But normally, I will just select the left page and hit these uh, strokes and shadows. I just want a simple shadow, okay? And the same thing in the right page. So we'll go again, the strokes, wonderful. And I'm ready to import my photos. So first of all, I will just fill those four photographs. I will just go now and um, double click the photo number one in order to open the smart object. And then I will just go and um, I will just uh, put uh, maybe this photo, why not? I like very much this photograph. It's really, really, uh, romantic, let's say, in the rain, the bride and the groom, love it. And hit OK, and then just close it, of course, save it, and boom, it's already there. Number two, you see how easy? Let us go now and uh, put uh, this bride and groom. I don't know who's the real Mary and George in here, but anyway, uh, I hope that everybody uh, would love this album. Of course, they loved the photo shooting, so I'm sure that they will love also the photo album. You see that? Boom, ready. So easy, so darn good. I have only, my only concern is to put the photos, okay? Just only that. I will go now and put this wonderful photo. Wonderful. And just make it bigger and just put it there maybe. Just close it and save. And the last one, just go and import, let's say, some other, just uh, maybe, maybe, maybe that one or that one. Who knows? Maybe, actually, that one, a new entry. Maybe she is Mary. Who knows? Okay, so let's go there and just... Uh, hit the apply and of course the close and save and check this out. I mean, it's wonderful. And then right click photo one, double click over this thumbnail in the smart object. And then we just go and um, maybe put actually this photo. Super. Just put them there. Wonderfully and just close it, save it, and our design is great and ready. 
Check this out. It's done wonderfully. Then save. And we will go to Mary and George 4 and 5. As you can realize, we are building now double pages because it's much more accurate. And uh, I tend to love that better. And everybody, everybody I know loves the double page designs. Of course, JPEG. And we're good to go. Save. Of course, I could just stay here now and just change the uh, photos, okay? But I don't really want that. I just want to create another style now. So just close that. We don't really uh, want to save this. You can realize now how fast and how powerful this uh, photo uh, album creation uh, panel uh, it is. I will just go now, maybe create three, or actually I will just, uh, yes, why not? Three pages, three photos, sorry. Uh, so I will go at about that. Okay, I will just uh, put it on the left and I will go now and import, let's say two on the right, okay? I just go uh, under maybe that design. Okay, right, superbly. And I will go now to the one again. I will just drag, you know, some photos, really majestic photos. Well done for the GFX. And then I will just close it, save it, open the next one, number two, just put that one. Wonderful. And again, save it, close it and save it. And then I can go to number three. I just want a wide photo. I hope I have one. I think this one would be good. And of course, I don't really have to, you know, have all the details of the photo, just the, you know, the main subject of the photo, which is that wonderfully and close that and save that. And um, I can go to the other side now, open it and just use uh, maybe that one which is pretty good photo. And of course, now we'll just uh, make this larger, super of the bride, save. And last but not least, I will put the groom on the other side, which probably is this guy over here. And we'll just uh, zoom out a little bit and go here and just save him here and just close this and you realize the magic of this panel save yes and i'm ready i will just um, select now both the folders and i will uh, just put a, a stroke maybe you see that really easy or maybe a more uh, a less let's say stroke or a more advanced with a tribal on you see that really nice and maybe not a background i really like it that way and I will just save it. And it's so easy. Mary and George, uh, let's go to six and seven. And last but not least, I will create uh, a bigger, a double page design. I will go to JPEG. I will go to save. I will just close that one. Once it's ready, and I will go and keep doing that. Well, you actually realize that if you have your photos ready in the bridge, it's so easy to create a photo album. I mean, it's it's a matter of an hour or something. You put your favorite music, some romantic music to make you more inspired and you just build. You build with a click of single buttons, of simple, single or easy buttons. You just do it yourself and you're good to go. So uh, once it's done, I will just close it. Wonderful. Of course, uh, I will have to show you that also. I will press the cancel. You can uh, put the fit on screen in order to position the design on your screen area. If you want to put to see that in 100% uh, resolution, you just click the 100 and you can see that uh, everything is in high resolution and then fit on screen and then close. I don't really have to save it. And then I will go to, let's say, um, one photo to create just a double uh, double page one photo design okay double page here and i will go to maybe that which i tend to like really much double click and then i will put uh i don't know if i if i have used all the photos maybe that photo i haven't used it 
I will just drag and drop it and I will just uh, try to uh, put all the faces but it's impossible to do that I'm sorry girls I have to uh, have the bride in the center so uh, okay maybe that here I'm sorry for this girl but no I don't really like that so you see sometimes I have to overcome my uh, style but it's really difficult to do it maybe that one why not I don't want to cut heads when I do wedding albums wonderful I really like that and then close and save and voila now our design is gonna be really good so I'm just waiting for the smart object to be updated and check this out wonderful design and then background I will just uh, put uh, a style or I can do that I can just double click the background and I will put the same photo and I will do, you know, a more uh, advanced, let's say, design, okay? I tend to use a white or plain, let's say, backgrounds, but some people like to uh, put photos in the background. I will just put the save, control S right now, and I will just uh, go back to my design to see how it will look, because probably I will just lower the resolution of this layer before I will uh, actually save it forever. So let's see that. You see that? How it looks probably i will go here and lower this at about uh, maybe 20 percent 25 or so hit the close button hit the save button and probably it will look better don't you know overdone uh, your background because uh, it will ruin all your projects okay now it looks better well not now it will look yes something like that but you have also still a white plain let's say background i can go to the photo now and apply maybe a shadow or maybe a stroke who knows okay maybe that more heavy stroke wonderful and i will just save it and hit the save button and let's go to mary and george eight and nine and as you can realize it's so easy to create an album you see that i'm already in page 10 if we put also the back cover but it was uh, like a game for me so easy jpeg i really love this design hit ok and then i will just create a more complex let's say uh, full page design i will close this okay don't save and i will go let's say at three photos in total I will go low and you see that I have so many more advanced creations I can go let's say to this photo or to this uh, or to this design maybe maybe this design why not I will just of course I have to create the double page and then use my design and you see that it's really ready advanced masks and everything is uh, ready for you just to change the gray area with your photos i will go maybe to photo number actually i will uh, drop this because i have i have the need to create something with uh, you know lines and corners something like that so we'll go to double page hit that it's the same pattern you have again cut it designs you see that with masks and stuff i will go to the first area and I will go and put uh, something else. So let's put um, maybe not this guy because he's on the right, but this one. Probably it will look okay. We will see. I will just uh, make this larger, just close it, bring it down, apply and save. Control S and then I will go back to see how it looks because it's cut it here. I want to see if the face looks good because probably it will not good so it, it will not look so good but no problem we can just uh, unlock this and we can take the move tool and position that over there but of course we don't really have to do that so i will go there maybe we'll try another photo you see that even without uh, uh, any prior uh, training or uh, setting up you can do it good or you can do it bad no problem you can just try yourself again maybe it's better to use a church or something on that side and then close i'm sure that it will work okay now just close it save it and it's gonna look much better
because it's in detail. It's not gonna, you know, cut the nose or cut uh, the lips or cut the mouth. It is okay for me. Then I will go to the right area. I will double click that and I will go and put something else. So let's go and put uh, maybe the shoes. Okay. Wonderful. And just put it there. Just put it there. Just save it and just close it. Save. And last but not least, I'm going to put the couple in the middle. You know, the main thing here is that uh, I want you to understand that you have so many possibilities that uh, you will never get bored of this uh, panel, okay, of this uh, creating application. And I will go to the middle and I will go now and maybe actually I will put the rings uh, on the shoe side because I tend to like them more. So I will go close this one. I will open this. I have to find some details on the right. Sometimes it, it works even better, you know, if you have the details on the right and you tend to have the right side visible, you know, and then just delete the previous and close it, and save it. For sure, it's going to look better, that one. Wait for it and you will get it right now. Wonderful, much wonderful. And uh, in the middle, Last but not least, we can go and put uh, maybe, mm, who knows, I don't really know, maybe, maybe I will put uh, this photo, why not? Okay, I will go there, I will just maximize this photo, I will put it uh, over here and I hope that it will work for me. So close it, save it and let's see how it will work. If we don't like it, we'll just change it. It's so easy. I'm just changing the, um, you know, the photos and the positions, or I can just uh, deactivate. Ah, it looks awesome. Really good. And of course, now we can just, uh, if we like, we can hide the other layers and have that. You see that? There is endless possibilities in this. There are endless possibilities in this design. I mean, I can just keep that or use others or maybe lower the, you know, the opacity of the layers and do whatever I like. You know, the main thing is that uh, all the designs are ready for me. And the only thing that I have to do is to give my special touch, you know, except of my photographs you know, the, my special eye through the photos, I can use my special touch, you know, selecting, combining, reducing the opacity, using the styles, using the backgrounds. I mean, you can do everything, but most important, and I want you to pay attention in that, is that through the wonderful, through the well and good build designs, you will be able to promote your work to even more clients. So, take a good notice that the DAB panel version 2 will promote your photos more than everything in the past. So use the DAB panel and watch your photos to get really fantastic and of course well produced in your next photo albums.